Before we jump into today's episode of my team, I want to make a very quick announcement and that is I don't know what the future holds for this series. I'm not sure if we're going to cut it short or we're going to continue on to season four or start from scratch. I need a few days to consider so bear with me if the next episode takes a few days to arrive then you'll know why but basically I need a bit of time to consider what the best thing is moving forward because you guys know about my frustrations with this career mode save up until this point. Now with that said up until this point we're here for Abu Dhabi if you guys haven't seen the previous episode at Australia then go check it out I'll leave a link up in the top right and as you can see in the background for the final time this season we are going to run the Honda Tribute livery. The reason being is because regardless of whatever happens in the future, this will be our last race with Honda as an engine supplier. So I thought we'd run the Tribute livery one more time here at Abu Dhabi. Now, with that aside, we look at the performance chart for the final time in Season 3. And my goodness me, a lot of teams have taken a massive, massive step forward. And the field is actually extremely close heading into this final race of the season with only Williams and Haas who are a long, long way away from the rest of the teams. Alpha, Alpine closing the gap to a big extent and everyone's really, really close now. We also have two upgrades on the way. Both of these arriving will mean we maxed out the aero, the chassis and the engine. So we're near enough approaching a maxed out car for season four. Um, who knows what will happen? You know, if that does happen, Season 4 would begin with a maxed out car or we just start from scratch in Season 1 again with a completely fresh slate. So qualifying then, we're going to jump into it and for this qualifying session I'm running some modified camera settings. I'll let you guys know what they are in the next episode. I'm still kind of working on those and also I thought I'd note, let you guys know I'm running 100 AI for this qualifying. I've dropped it down quite a substantial amount so that I can be a bit more competitive because Again, it's part of my recent struggles and I can't seem to get over it. So I've taken the plunge and we've dropped it all the way down to 100. Now, at the end of my first run in Q1, we go uh, P15. So we got through the Q2 by about 6 tenths to half a second over Giovinazzi. But still, you know, it looks like both myself and Schwartzman are a little bit off the pace around here. So we'll see how that goes for the rest of qualifying. As for Q2, mediums on the car. And we're going to try and see if we can set a decent banker on these and maybe even get ourselves into the top 10 making our way into the final couple of corners. I don't quite attack that corner as much as I would have liked. The final corner, quickly back on the throttle as we cross the line. It's going to be a 31.3, and we go P9 at the time, which isn't too bad, actually, for a medium tyre, but it wasn't enough. We're P13 right now, and we need to improve. We're on the soft tyres. We're going to go for it and send it. Let's see if this happens enough. Fingers crossed we can try and get into Q3, because if we don't, then we need to drop AI even more. There we go, across the line, we go P2 actually, behind Bottas, which is pretty insane. Having said that, multiple cars improved, and by the end of Q2, we drop down to P7. Schwartzman gets through in P10, but for once, we're into Q3, and we're ahead of our teammate, and we got in comfortably, which is great to see. And more realistically, what should be the case with a car that is, you know, 
top three easily kind of fighting for the championship caliber-esque car performance. So yeah, really happy to be in Q3 for the first time, let's say comfortably with some decent merit. And uh, yeah, we're now on sort of tires here. This is a fresh set. And to be fair, for a first bank lap, this wasn't too bad. Uh, making our way into the final corner now, we're gonna end our first lap and set a 30.4, which gives us P6 at the time, which is not too shabby. But we have one more set of soft tires to use and we're gonna send it and see what happens. So let's go on board for a full lap of Abu Dhabi and let's see if we can make something special in this final qualifying here in season three. So at the final corner, picking up the traction, making sure the straight line speed is on point. Down to turn one, braking at the 100, down the fifth gear, clip the inside curb, which is very important, and then make sure you get good drive out of the corner. Usually, turns Just two and turns three would normally be flat in a default car, but they're not in these because it's super, super unstable. So we have to take a lot off, and we're already two and a half tenths down on Hamilton through the first sector. Into the hairpin, trying to pick up the throttle as soon as possible, having a bit of oversteer, and right now we're pretty much even Stevens with our previous lap as we make our way down the back straight. Now I know there's a bit of time in this chicane, so we're gonna try and maximize that by braking just after the 100 meter board, down to third gear, make sure you get a really late apex to open up the left and the right, and that gives you a really good exit, as you can see, as we're a 10th up right now, opening DRS on the second back straight. Bring the car over to the right, onto the curb, spot the 100 on the right hand side, down to third gear, as we go purple in sector two, clip the curbs, avoid taking too much inside curb on that final left, and then a 90 degree left, slightly off camber follows that as we try to clean up the traction. And so far, three tenths up, heading into the final couple of corners. Now we brake hard, down a third gear, clip the inside curb, we run a little bit wide, but we actually managed to make it work and not lose too much lap time. Under the hotel, through the double lefts, and with two corners to go, it looks pretty decent, but I don't quite make the apex at the penultimate corner, losing a bit of time. The final corner follows, we managed to recover some of it. Across the line we go, for a 30.1, which is a PB lap of the weekend, but will it be enough to move us into any decent grid slot? The answer is P5. So there we go. Qualifying done at Abu Dhabi. Verstappen P1, Perez P2. Then it's both Mercedes cars and we chill on P5. Ahead of Gasly, Norris, Ricardo, Leclerc and Schwartzman, who only set a 30.8 and uh, quite a way off the pace. So yeah, qualifying done. There was a bit of time in it. I think that little mistake in the final sector and also my first sector didn't feel great. Um, I do think we could have got both Mercs. I think P3 was on the cards, but still, we'll take that P5 for qualifying. We're now going to move up to 102% AI for the race and we're going to see if we can end the season on a high. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Sergio Perez will lead us away from pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Martinez, Daniel Ricciardo, and Sonoda. Verstappen, they've taken a grid penalty. Sainz, Russell, and Sebastian Vettel. Stroll, Schwartzman, Pierre Gasly, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Giovinazzi, Norris, Leclerc, Nicholas Latifi, and Mick Schumacher. Ocon, they've taken a grid penalty. Mazepin, Lundgaard, and Nobuharu Matsushita. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. Now for the final time this season, we start from P4 on the grid. It's gonna be a fun race, we're on the second row, and for once, I think I can say, we've got a chance to win a race for the first time on merit, on the straightforward soft tire strategy to start with, not having to go on the alternate strat. So I'm very excited about that. We're gonna see what happens. Fingers crossed, the strategy works out. I've gone quite aggressive, soft, medium, medium. Now, I do have the option of another set of softs at the end. They are a used set of softs. Um, also, one of the medium sets are gonna be used as well. Now, we're gonna box around lap six. If I feel like I can go longer, we'll go longer. But lap six, in theory, should be an undercut over everybody else. Fuel-wise, I've gone for two laps negative, two laps under. I've gone very aggressive with the fuel this time, and uh, we'll see if that works out for us. So I've learned my lesson, AI adjusted, T-cam adjusted, fuel adjusted, tire wear, you know, given the uh, the correct respect. 
And uh, yeah, we're going to jump into it and see if we can end Season 3 on a high. Okay, let's do this. The final race. Let's make it a classic. Five lights. Ooh, good start. Very good start. I'm going to get boxed in though, so I can't fully commit to going around the outside of Hamilton. So I bust out Ricard. I'm going to just edge ahead as we race up to Turn 2 and Turn 3. Perez holds on to the lead. So Verstappen now P6 with a penalty. Here comes Ricardo to the outside. He's actually going to commit to that, to be fair. I'm going to leave some space, but we're going to get the better run and drive out of that corner. As we go for the hairpin, let's see if we can get onto the back of Lewis straight away. Verstappen's got past Ricardo as well, so Max up into P5 now, of course. He was the original pole sitter. He's closing in on us, but we've got enough juice on the straight to stay in front for now. Let's see if we can fight for the win today on merit. I don't really want to have to set for P5 or anything unless I want to at least get a podium at minimum. But I'd love to win this race. I think we can on strategy. I'm pretty confident about that. Got a bit of a gap now to Verstappen through the uh, back straight chicane. Seems like we're pretty decent in the middle sector as we were in qualifying. Let's see if we can stay in the race on the softs. Hopefully they don't overheat. I'm running the lowest pressures, so... That should enable us to just drive these tyres at pretty much maximum capacity. It's whether the car can handle it or not, because as you guys know, we have a lot of balance issues with the car nowadays because of all the upgrades. So, yeah, so far this has gone pretty well. I'm happy with this. We haven't lost anything. We haven't gained anything. We can just start to build up our confidence as the laps tick over and see if we can make a bit of a challenge. Perez already starting to break away out front. Ooh. Caution, the virtual safety car has just been deployed due to a buildup of debris on the track. Okay, slow down, slow down. Your delta is negative, which means you are too fast. Reduce your pace. Not sure what that's for. There is a bit of a breakaway in the pack further back, but we'll see what the real reason is. I'll put a replay up on screen if it's anything worth uh, showing. Getting quite close to Lewis here. I wonder if we can just maybe have a look at him here. He will have the RS from Bottas, but he's not really getting much of a slipstream. We're going to try and make a move around the outside. Into the break zone, leaving space on the left. And there we go, we've got it done. Around the outside of Hamilton. Nice clear move up to P3. I think we've got the pace to win this. Verstappen's very fast. But now that we've got him behind us and we've got a car between us as well, I think this is quite realistic right now. Perez is being forced to drain his battery because of Bottas. So we're in this race, I've just got to be careful. Uh, tires are already starting to go. Let's see if we can set a uh, fastest lap here. We'll see who does go purple, purple. Because so far we've not had a proper full racing speed lap yet. Perez, 33.8. We do a 33.6. So there we go. That kind of confirms the pace right now. Let's see if we can get back within a second of Bottas. Though, to be fair, the first sector is where I struggle the most. So I'm not too confident about this. Oh, the back end does not want to work through that. Yeah, I think we're out of... DRS range on Valtteri for now. We're going to have to try and fight over the rest of that to get back in. Starting to overheat my rear tyres. I'm struggling to keep them in the right temp window. One bit of wheel spin and they suddenly just light up. It's really hard to keep it under control. The fuel saving is going well. So we're saving a lot of fuel without even trying, which is great. I could have probably gone even less fuel to be honest. To be fair, probably minimum fuel. But yeah, right now I'm not quite able to just get within a second of Bottas. This is our scheduled pit stop lap. I'll make a decision soon. I'm going to stay out one more lap. I've managed to get within a second of Bottas and also on the basis that I don't have two fresh sets of mediums. I've only got one. I just want to extend this by one lap to compensate for that used medium tyre that we use in Q2. Right, we're going to box this lap. Doesn't matter what the cars ahead do. If they, don't st if, they, if they stay out, that's good for us. If they don't pit, that'd be nice because then we can get the undercut. Perez does pit. Bottas doesn't, so... We're looking to undercut Valtteri here. Hamilton follows us in as well. Right, let's see how this works out. Will Perez get held? Will Hamilton get held? I don't think they will. So we should rejoin in the same order unless we have an awful pit stop. Robert is in the pits. Robert in the pits. Go. Exit now. We're racing on the exit. Go. Go now. Mm, not a good stop, but we're away. Doing one more stop today. One stop left in our strategy. Uh, back on the way then on the mediums. Important to get a good pit exit here to stay close to Perez and not lose ground. Oh my god, I'm going to get a warning for that. That was close. 
But I need to give it maximum push on this hard lap. So let's see if we can get this undercut on Bottas. That would be crucial for the race if we can pull it off. Perez and Giovinazzi going side by side here. And uh, Giovinazzi costing Perez a load of time. We may have a chance to actually have a little look here. And Giovinazzi up the inside we go. I'm just going to send it and follow Perez through. That puts us within DRS range of the net race leader. Bottas is in the pit. So is Max Verstappen as well looking for the overcut. This is going to be close. Perez pits again. Oh, so possible damage then for Perez in that Giovinazzi battle. So we're racing Bottas right now. He's leaving the pit exit. It's going to be close. A bit of wide for turn one there. So we get some understeer, but we're ahead. That white arrow is Bottas. It's going to be close. Oh, Bottas gets ahead. I just can't fully commit to those two corners. We're stepping behind on the soft. So he's gone very aggressive on tyre strap. I've made a mess of that. Jeez Louise, come on, come on, come on. Let's get back amongst it here. I need to get Bottas right now before Verstappen gets me. If I could take a turn two and turn three flat like the AI do, I would have got Bottas there, but I can't do it. So we're going to close in here with a bit of engine mode and DRS. We're going to set him up through here if we can. Important that we gain this track position on Bottas. We're nicely set up here. Here we go. Straight line speed, Honda engine using its legs. A new strategy is available on the MFD. I don't believe it. Bottas moves right in the bloody crucial moment there. Oh, that's going to be our race pretty much in the mud. We'll go for a set of hard tyres, but pff, game over. Understood, copy that. It's game over for us. Unfortunately, more bad luck. Bottas didn't hold his line, he moved right at the last second as I was going to come into that move. So we're going to have to pit for hards. Oh well. There goes our race win. <laughs> what a shame. Maybe there might be a safety car or something later. You never know, we might get lucky. Oh, and that's going to put us back quite some way as well, looking at the minimap where Perez is. Let's see. Hopefully we can have a fast stop and still be ahead of Sergio or maybe run with him. From we change. Come on, it's got to be fast. Come on, come on. Faster, faster, faster. Go, 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 go. Let me go. Exit, exit now. Forget it. Perez is so close on soft tyres. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. I'm going to rejoin here. Where is it going to be? Looks like behind Ocon. Or close to Ocon. Or side by side with Ocon. No, just ahead. We can get him though straight away here but we're down to p17 now <sighs> what an absolute disaster let's set up the alpine here as we go through the hairpin we'll try and get the drive i'm not going to fall to this tire it's not one that you usually use in abu dhabi because it's not a good race tire but i want to get to the end i don't want to stop again so coming through we're going to get our con this time no dramas on the brakes get it slowed down and there we go, we can now drive off. There's not a lot of grip, but I'll try and make these tyres work. Okay, we're going to try and get past Giovinazzi here. We're closing in, I've got DRS in this straight. The dog's outside of cheering me on, so let's see if we can make the move happen. I've not got a lot of grip on these tyres, I will admit. They're just lacking just general performance, but let's see if we can try and get the Alpha here. We know about the Ferrari engine not having the best straight line speed. Really didn't know where Gio was going to go there, he was weaving. And we've got a yellow flag coming up, so we've just cleared him in time. That's now gone green. The yellow's up ahead. So someone has had an issue. Caution. Caution. I think it's an Aston Martin. We'll get confirmation shortly to see who it is. It's Lando. So Lando's slowing down. He's out of the race for McLaren. Will we get a safety car? That'll bring us right back into it. Will we get one? Okay, the incident Oof. has been My God. cleared. Let's get back up to racing speed. Never mind, looks like no safety car for us. By oh, the way, we're up to P14 now, so making progress. Ricardo in the pit lane, we're going to gain a place. Up to P13 for now. Still not sure if we're going to go to the end on these or not. I think the tyre wear is okay, but I'm just not confident in the actual tyre performance. I think that could drop off quite badly. Oh my god, this is what I mean. Oof, that was a bit of a scary moment. There was a massive train of cars, you know, running from the Toro Rosso heading into the um, hotel section right now, which isn't really technically a train, but that car all the way 
down to Paris ahead of us. There's so many cars there who could pit and that would give us positions right now. So let's see. Hopefully they'll start to pit soon. We're approaching the final pit stop window. I'm not going to lie. I'm struggling on my tyres and I don't know what it is. The tyre wear is low but there's just no performance. We've got a Mercedes in the pit lane. This will give us a good reference as to how far off the lead we are as Perez and Leclerc also pit. Oh my god, the car is just on ice. Okay, so we're actually further ahead than I thought. We're going to get Bottas. So Bottas in for his final stop and we're right ahead of him. So that's decent enough. Let's see how we uh, compare to others who will finally pit soon. So Schwartzman pits for the final time. Gasly as well. Got a few cars in actually. Hamilton in there as well. It's going to be close actually. Between us and Lewis, I think. Yeah, he's going to rejoin just ahead of us, as you can see up the road. So, fair enough. I think Verstappen has already stopped. He just set a new purple lap. But right now, Bottas is on the hunt. He's two seconds behind us, and he'll be onto the back of us soon. I'd like to say I'll try and follow him and see if I can hang on to some DRS, but we'll see how that goes. Gasly not too far behind as well. Got some traffic here in the form of Mazepin as Russell Pitts. Just the one car in this lap, Sonoda in as well, actually. Sonoda looks like he's ahead of us. Yes, he is. There he is in the pit exit, so he's made up a lot of ground. Okay, clear. Oh, yellow flag. Not sure what's happened there, but Bottas is running onto the back of me here. I'm going to just cut him off for now. We'll see if we can run with these guys. If we can run with Bottas and Gasly and Sonoda in DRS range, maybe we can pick something up at the end of the race, especially if uh, a virtual safety car or safety car comes out. There's still plenty of cars that are yet to pit. Here comes Valtteri Bottas. We're going to let him take the inside line and then I'm just going to try and stay in his DRS to the best of my ability pretty much for as long as I can anyway. Let's crack on. Yeah, forget it. <laughs> this is pretty much game over. Bottas has just ran away with it. We've got the final cars in the pitch. I think there's one or two more still yet to pit currently running in the top six but Gasly is about to put an end to that as he's so much faster than me here he comes I'm trying to shut him off there I don't want to let him pass me just yet we'll do a similar thing to Bottas and let him buy on this straight after that's George Russell who I'm a lot more comfortable I think of being able to keep behind so let's see here comes Pierre we're going to let him go and I'll just try and follow him basically like we did with Bottas for as long as we can anyway Sebastian Vettel in the pit lane Latifi out the race. Will we get a lifeline from that? Don't think we will. And we've dropped out of the RS range of Pierre Gasly already here, so... P6 right now. I think there's an Alpine running ahead of um, Hamilton. So I think there's a P5 up for grabs, I might be wrong. Warning for track limits. First one of the race, just got to be careful. For the remaining few laps, four to go. Russell signs, both closing in, but will it be enough? I'm not sure. Oh, Bottas pits. Interesting. Possible damage, maybe? I did see his name flash up with Sonoda, so maybe he was battling with Yuki and uh, got damage in the crossfire. Not sure, but we're up to P5. Having said that, Russell and signs are on my case. Two laps to go, and this is when they start to use full engine power here, so we're going to have to be smart with how we defend let them pass on the first straight and then get them back on the second that's the plan but let's see for now I'm confident in my own straight line speed here to stay ahead I think we've got enough let's at least try and delay the overtake attempt onto the onto the last lap and to the chicane let's make sure we keep it nice and tidy here we'll stay on board to see if I can indeed stay clear of Russell that's a good exit very good exit and this straight is a bit shorter so We'll stay ahead for now, onto the last lap of the race. Let's see if we can bring this home in P5. If we can, I'd be very happy with that recovery and the hard tire. Truth on my case. I'm trying to make sure we hang on. He's going to be super, super close, heading onto the back straight. So again, we may have to obviously defend, but a tactical wave by to get him back on the second straight is probably going to be the best option here. Let's see. Exit not too shabby, but George is close to the last lap. Right, we're going to go for the tactical wave by. Let's see if uh, George goes for it. 
we're just going to slot in behind and set up the exit. Not the best, but it'll do. We're close enough. Let's get him back. And get that P5 locked up. George fighting back on the brakes, but we're going to go on the outside and get it done as the fireworks go off for Max Verstappen, who with the grid penalty still wins the finale after all the chaos that happened in this race between myself, Bottas, Perez, all of us getting wing damage in this race. Easy does it out through the final few corners. Let's not mess it up. And I'll take this P5 on a set of hard tyres. It's basically like a podium, so I don't mind this. Slow and steady. Two more corners to go. And season three is officially at its conclusion. And there we go. Job done. P5. I'll take that. Job done. That's it. What a season. Great work this year. Really great work. It's been hard at times, but we've come through. It's been a roller coaster season there, but they can go into the winter with their heads held high after an emphatic victory here today. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, when you overtake that many people, I'd certainly hope you'd win the race. Their car was really effective in the slipstream here today, and the team would be pleased that they didn't cook the engine given how long they were spending in the hot air behind other cars. They had a lot of confidence to push their tyres hard as well, especially going into the corners, which allowed for some late braking and some exciting passes. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. Well, there we go then. Job done and the final race is in the books. Verstappen wins it ahead of Hamilton and Gasly. Now, what that does mean is that Hamilton secures P4 in the Drivers' Championship. We finish in P5. Sonoda P4, so both Alpha Tarries having a very strong final race. We finish in P5 ahead of Russell, Sainz, Ricardo, Vettel and Leclerc. Schwartzman P11, unfortunately, not both cars in the points here today. Elsewhere, Bottas P12 with a fastest lap. And then we've got Giovinazzi Perez P14, of course, Bottas and Perez with wing damage. Stroll, uh, Ocon, Matsushita, Schumacher, Lungard, Mazepin, Latifi and Norris with the, the former two and uh, pretty much out of the race. Now then, we've got to look at the standings for the final time and uh, digest these a little bit. So first of all, the drivers, we finish in P5 and what once seemed like a title challenge completely fell apart this season, which was a real shame. And I'll give credit to Co-Masters because... A big reason for it was the random failures. We had two gearbox failures and two turbocharger failures. And those four compi um, combined compiled to a pretty miserable season for us. Um, especially, you know, I think both turbocharger failures were when I was leading the race on course to win. And the other one I was in second place. So, you know, that was already like 45 points, I think, if I'm not mistaken, thrown away. So... That could have already given us like P3 in the championship. So, yeah, um, not what you want to see, but still Verstappen was by far the class of the field. The new patch changed things as well because Red Bull just turned super, super dominant and Alpha Tari also became really strong. In the constructors, we're finishing P3, um, a long, long way away Red Bull and Mercedes. So, yeah, we need a bit of time now. Um, I'll see what happens in the future. I, I really don't know at this stage. I want to make sure I make the right decision. I'm open to feedback, so let me know in the comments down below if you watched up until this point. Do you want me to continue um, and try and make it work with less AI difficulty and making some adjustments? Or should I start from scratch again, but technically continue it as if it were season four, if that makes sense. So we start from zero, brand new season, clean slate. Basically a fake regulation change has taken place and we're starting from scratch again. It does mean that Alonso, Raikkonen and I can't think what the other one is. Um, Alonso Raikkonen and actually I think Hamilton's retiring I think this was his last race so yeah th those three would, would be back on the grid but 
Give me the feedback in the comments down below. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. But anyway, that's it for season three. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Let's try and smash over a thousand likes and then subscribe for more. I do daily F1 content on my channel. And finally, check out two videos on screen if you haven't seen them. But that's it for me here today. And I'll see all of you in the next one.